Hello everybody! In today's video, we will learn about piecewise defined functions. A piecewise defined function, it's a function defined by at least two equations, pieces, each of which applies to a different domain. Piecewise function, defined function, can take on a variety of forms. These pieces, these parts of the function, they can be linear, all of them, or part of them linear, others, they can be absolute value or the square root or quadratic, because these parts, because the function has more than uh, one part, that's why this is the reason for which this kind of function does not have a parent form. In today's video, we will learn how to graph a piecewise function from a given rule and how to write the rule of the function from a given graph. And let's start working. So, in this example, they say, graph the function. The function given as a rule, as you can see, it has three different rules. Each rule for different domains. So, this function, it is called a piecewise function. To graph it, we have to take the rules one by one separate. And we know that to graph a function, in fact, we need points. And the points, we are going to take them from the domain, which is called from these domain intervals. So I'm going to take the rules one by one in order. The easiest way to graph, again, is to find points. And for points, we will use table. This is the easiest that we can do. So my function is f of x, and I will take the rules one by one in order. I take the first one, 1. f of x, it is equal 4x plus 11, 4x less than negative 2, and greater than or equals to negative 10. So to graph this piece, this part of the function, the domain here it is given. So I know the x. What is missing? It's the y value. Where x and y together, they form points. And the points, I'll get them from a table. So all I have to do is to make a table here. And... The x value, it's negative 10, so under x I put the negative 10. And also x, it can be equals negative 2. Now I will take the x and substitute into the y. If the x, it is negative 10, then the y, it will be equals 4. Substitute in x with negative 10 plus 11. So, negative 40 plus 11, it is equal to negative 29. So, the point has coordinates negative 10, negative 29. In x, negative 10, we have here equals. So, then this point, it will be closed on the graph. I go to x equals negative 2, and to find the y, I will do y equals substitute in the given rule 4 times 2 plus 11. 8 plus 11, it is 19. So the point, it will be negative 2 and 19. In negative 2, we do not have equals. So this point, it will be opened. And to graph, we'll plot these two points on the coordinate plane. And after, we are going to connect them. I will save these two points that I don't have to come back. I take the second part, the second piece of this function and I will do the same I did. So I put 
f of e equals x square minus 1 for x less than or equals to 2 greater than or equals to negative 2. So we have to graph this one. I will use again the table x, y and the point x, y. The x values, I'm going to take them from the given domain interval. So x, it can be a negative 2 or x, it can be a 2. To find the y, I will substitute in the rule. So it will be y equals instead of x i put negative 2 squared minus 1 and 4 minus 1 it will be a 3 and the point it will be negative 2 3 in negative 2 x it is equals which means this point on the graph it will be closed i take the other x and find the y so substitute into here 2 squared minus 1 and 4 minus 1 it will be 3 again so the point 2, 3. In x from the domain, this is equals to 2. So also this point, it will be closed. But the function, it's a quadratic function. So only two points, they are not going to be enough. The easiest point, more point that I can find, it will be the y-intercept. The y-intercept has x 0. So if we put here 0, it will be negative 1 and the point has coordinate 0, negative 1. This it will be the y intercept so the graph will pass through it. Now I will take the last part of the graph which is y equals x plus 1 so this is f of e equals x plus 1, this is the last piece in the function, such that x less than or equals to 10, greater than 2. And I will make the table again. And I will do the same I did before. The x value or is 2 or I take the 10. These are the limits in the domain. So, or it is x2, or it is x10. If it is y equals, I will substitute in the rule 2 plus 1, which means 3, and the point it will be 2, 3. x, it is not equals to 2, so this point it will be opened. If x, it is 10, y, it will be equals 10 plus 1, which means 11. So the point on the graph is 10, 11. x, it is equals to 10, so this point, it will be closed, and I will connect these two points. And now, the three tables, I will plot them on the coordinate plane. The points I found on the coordinate plane. So this is the coordinate plane. I will sketch it. It's not a perfect draw. I will sketch it. From the first table, we found the points negative 10, negative 29, and negative 219. The function, it's linear function, so I will connect the points and get a segment there. So let's see. Negative 10, negative 29. So negative 10. Let's say here negative 5 and this is the negative 10 and 5, 10, I will count, I will count by 5. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 and let's say if this is 30, negative 29 above it. So 5, 10, this is the point, negative 10, negative 29 and this is closed. So I will close it. The other one was negative 219. So 5, 10, 15, 20, negative 2, let's say it's somewhere here, and 19 is up, so this point it will be here, and this one it is open. The two points, I have to connect them.
This is the first part of the graph. I will take the second part of the graph, which was f of x equals to x squared minus 1. I found the points negative 2, 3, 2, 3, and 0, negative 1. This function, it's a quadratic function. The a coefficient positive, so there it will be the shape parabola. So let's try to sketch this on the same coordinate plane. The first point coordinates negative 2, 3. <coughs> so let's say 3, it's somewhere here. And negative 2, 3, it was closed. So I will close the point. The other point was 2, 3. So they are symmetrical with respect to y-axis. And the third one was the y-intercept negative 1. So then I will connect them. And this is the parabola. The last part... The last rule was f of x equals to x plus 1, which is a linear function. And the points I'm going to plot are 2, 3 and 10, 11. And this is open, this is closed, and connect them. Let's see. 2, 3, it's the same point here. And 10, 11, so this is 5, 10. And 11, 5, 10, let's say, is here. And this point, it will be closed, and I will connect them. So this is the shape of the piecewise function. The domain of this function, we said that to find the domain of the function, whatever graph is there, look for the most lefted point in the graph and the most righted point in the graph. From each point, look for the x-coordinate. The domain, it will be between these x's. The most lefted point, I have it here. And the x... It was negative 10. And the most righted point, it was here. And the x was 11. So the domain, it will be between two this value. So I can write domain x between negative 10 left and 11 right. So 11, the point here with x coordinate 11, it is closed, so less than or equals 11. The negative 10 coordinate, the point here, it is closed, so greater than or equals to negative 10. This is going to be the domain of the function. For range, we said, look for the lowest point and the highest point in the graph, and their y coordinate. The range, it will be between these two y coordinates. So this is the lowest point in the graph, and the y coordinate is here, which is negative 29. The highest point in the graph is here, and I think was the 29 here. And the range, it will be between these two values. So we can write range, it's for the y values. The least value, negative 29, and the highest, it's 29. So it's less than or equals, greater than or equals. I'm not sure if this is correct. Let me just check into here. It's a 19. It's a 19 here. The highest, the maximum there, it's a 90. Okay? When you do it on the paper, it will be better for you, easier, more clearly. Again, graph the piecewise defined function. So, my function is called that. And this function has two, three different rules. To graph it, I will take the pieces one by one in, porter, uh, in the order and look for points on that part, that we can plot the points, connect the points, and get the shape of that function. So I take the first rule. f of x equals to 3. For x less than or equals negative 1, and greater than negative 4. This is a constant function. Yeah. So this means that whatever is the x value, 
always y it will be 3. So we can make the table and if x is negative 4 then y it will be 3 and the point is negative 4, 3 and here it is not equal so this point is open. If the x is negative 1 the y it will be 3 the point is negative 1, 3 it is equals to negative 1, so this point is closed. We will plot later on the points on the graph and after we'll connect them. So this is a constant function. From it. I will take the next rule and do the same. So it is f of x equals negative x. This is a linear function for x between 0, 2, including them. So x less than or equals to 2, greater than or equals to 0. We'll make the table. M. x, 0. So, if this x is 0, y it will be 0, and the point is 0, 0 origin, it is equals to 0, so this point is going to be closed. The next value for x, I'll give it is 2. Now, if I put 2 for x, it will be here y equals negative 2, and the point 2, negative 2 coordinates. Again, this is z equals to 2, so this point, it will be equals. This is a linear function. I plot the points and connect them on the graph. The last part, the last piece, it's y equals 3 minus x, 4x between 2 and 4. And I will do the same I did. So 3 minus x. F of x equals 3 minus x. When x, it is less than 4. And it is greater than 2. We make the table. It's a linear function, so all we need two points to graph it. The x, once is 2. So if this x, it will be 2. 3 minus 2, it is 1. And the point is 2, 1. It is not equals 2, so the point, it will be open. The other value for x, I will put it 4. And it will be 3 minus 4, it's a negative 1, so the point has coordinates for negative 1. It is not equal to 4, so it will be open. As we said, it's a linear function. We plot the two points and we connect them. Then let's see what we are going to find. It is a sketch of the graph, so we are not talking about the perfect graph, yes? A sketch. So, x-axis, y-axis. From the first f of x rule, the points they were negative 4, 3. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3. So, the point, it will be here. It was open. And the other point, negative 1, 3, and this one was closed, connect the two points. This is the first f of x rule. This is the first graph. For the second f of x, the points, they were 0, 0, and this was closed. And the other one, 2, negative 2, and this one was closed to... So, connect them. This is the graph for the second rule, the second piece. And the last one was 2, 1 point, and this open. And 4, negative 1, open 2. So, I will connect them. So, the three pieces of the graph, they will be here. The second one here. And the last one here. 
from the graph, the domain of the function it will be. So we said domain most left at point, which is this one in the graph, and the x coordinate is negative 4. The most right at point is this, and the x equals to 4. So the domain, this is open, and here 4 open. It will be x between negative 4, 4, less than, greater than. We do not put equals because these points, they are open. For the range, we look for the lowest point in the graph and the y-coordinate, and here was a negative 2, and the highest point in the graph, and it was 3, and between these y-values, there is the range. So range y, it will be less than 3, greater than negative 2. Negative 2, it came from this close point, so I'll put it equals. 3, it came from this close point, and it will be equals to. Let's see more. They say, write the rule. So now the graph it is given. But we do not know the equation, the function rule, f of x equals 1. And when we check this graph, we see that the graph is split into three parts. Here we have a part, here we have a part, and this is the third one. So we'll take the parts from left to right into the order one by one, and we will try to find the equation of these parts of the graph. These are segments, and we know that segment is part of the line. So, equation of the line, it is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope, and the y is the, uh, and the b is the wind tracer. So, I'm going to take the first part of the graph. This point has coordinates negative 5, 7, and this one has coordinates negative 2, 7. It is horizontal line, which means it's constant, and the equation it will be y equals to 7 for x, here left closed and right closed, so x it will be less than negative 2 and greater than negative 5 and both of them closed. So I got the first rule. I will take now the second part of the graph the second segment, and I will sketch it separate. So I see the second segment, it comes like this. I will take the coordinates of the points from the graph. So here I have negative 2, 7. So this is negative 2, 7. And here I have 3, 2. And I'm going to use these points to write the equation y equals mx plus b. First of all, I will find the slope using the slope formula. y2 minus y1 equals to x2 minus x1. And this equals 7 minus 2, 5. Negative 2 minus 3 is a negative 5, so the slope is negative 1. Now, to find the y-intercept, I will substitute in the slope, and I will choose one of these two points that I can substitute for x and y. I'll take this one. So y is 2 equals slope is negative 1, the x it is 3, plus b. From here, the y-intercept is 5. So, the equation of this line, it will be y equals negative x plus 5, where x, it's between these two values, so less than 3 closed, greater than or equals to negative 2. Also, negative 2, it is given. It's closed. So, I got the second rule. To find the same rule, I will do the same I did. So, I will take the, this uh, part of the graph, I will sketch it separate. So it was something like this. And I will take the coordinates for the points from the graph. So here down I have a 4, 5. So this is 4, 5. And the point is open. And the other one is a 
9. And this is closed, and the graph is between them, so this is sigma, part of the line. So I look for y equals mx plus b. To write this, we need to find the slope, and we need to find the y-intercept. So then I write slope equals 9 minus 5, it's a 4. 6 minus 4, it is 2. So slope equals to 2. I will substitute in the equation. I take one of the points to substitute x, y. I'm going to take this one. It doesn't matter which one we'll get at the end the same. So y, it is 5, equals slope is 2 times 4 plus the y-intercept. From here, y-intercept equals 5 minus 8. It's a negative 3. So the equation, it will be y equals 2x minus 3. For domain x values, the x values between 4 and 6. So, less than 6, greater than 4. The 4 is open, so I do not put equal. 6 is closed, it will be x less than or equals to 6. So, this is the third part of the graph. So, we can write at the end the rule of the function. f of x equals as long as the graph it has three parts, then we found three rules. The first one, it was y equals 7 for x, domain negative 5, negative 2. The second was negative x plus 5. Four x between negative two and three, including, and the last rule we found two x minus three, four x between four six, but only included six, not the four, so four six less than or equals less. So this function. Thank you.